Hello everyone, welcome to the full course of the Linux Red Hat system. Today I am going to teach you about the Linux file editor. So what is the Linux file editor? A text editor is a program which enables you to create and manipulate the data in a Linux file. Basically it gives you a right to edit any kind of your text which is in the, your file and if you want to manipulate the data, if you want to delete, if you want to insert, if you want to cut, copy, any kind of thing you can do in your given file editor. And there are several standard text editors available on the Linux system. In most of the Linux system, VI is the most common mm -hmm. use in every Linux system. And that, that's why we will use the VI editor because it is available in almost every Linux system. Well, there are also other uh, standard systems like for example, ED which is the standard line editor, EX which is the extended line editor, Emacs a full screen editor, Pico beginners editor and VIM which is the advanced version of VI. Linux has this both VI and VIM and today we are going to use this VI visual editor like for for example there are some other Linux system that is the CentOS, uh, Ubuntu, SOS these are some of the different Linux system who do have this kind of server editors in the system right now I have the Red Hat Linux system so I will use this VI and today we are going to learn about this visual editor so uh, let's just understand that what is VI command for so it's basically used to inserting and deleting the text cut and paste in the text, finding and substituting the strings and replacing the text. So uh, what are the keys, what are the common keys we use in our VI editor. So there are several keys and some of them which are the most common to use in the editor that are the I, insert, escape, delete, replace and some other stuff. So uh, let me show you the demonstration of these one by one keys in my Linux system. So let's move on to my Linux system. I will simply uh, you can see right now we are in our Linux system and right now I am in my directory of this uh, okay right now I am in my uh, directory which is Dishan which is the username of mine so what I will do I will try to create a file here so simply what you have to do with the vi command you just have to type the vi which is our specially command and uh, after that you have to give the name of the file whichever file name you can give for example i am giving the as cloud hub which is my file name so after entering it you can see we are right now entered in our the visual mode of the s3 as cloud hub file you can see there is uh, it by default it creates an empty file so right now i can't do anything right now so it right now we are in our e visual mode so uh, it gives me that uh, other right that I can do and so for that I have to use some different uh, keywords to edit, delete and insert any kind of thing in this file. So for example I want to insert uh, some content in this file then what I have to do I have to simply press I on my keyboard. So when I press the I you can see we are right now entered in our insert mode and what it basically do it basically give us a right to insert any kind of stuff in our file for example I am typing hi I am using Linux Red Hat system and Linux is cool to learn so I had written some uh, lines in our file you can do whatever you want to do in this file but I had written these two lines only so now uh, because right now we are in the insert mode that's why we can insert it right but when we are in our visual mode that we can't directly insert in uh, our file unless until you press on the keyboard which is the I. Now uh, when you are in the insert mode you can do this up and down the right and left whatever wherever you want to go you can do the backspace and type any kind of thing right. You can use any kind of uh, basically you know it works like your text editor just like here we in windows we have our notepad. Uh, in the Linux we have the text editor and in like the notepad same as so this also works like the text editor basically makes you uh, uh, works like the text editor in the terminal so that's how you can do that now what you want what you can do simply here that if you want to like save this and you have to want to quite from that so there are two ways to save and quite from this uh, file so the first way we are which I'm going to show you is uh, shift ZZ now how we are going to apply you have to simply press the escape button uh, we use the escape button to escape from mm -hmm. the mode right now when i press the right now we are in the insert mode so when i press the escape button we are back again in our visual mode 
because in our visual world you can see we can't edit any kind of th thing because right now i'm trying to type something but i can't do that because we are in our visual mode right now that's why it is showing me the error you can see it you can move the cursor up and down in your visual mode but you are not able to uh, do any kind of or insert any kind of stuff when you are in the visual mode so now what i'm going to show you that uh, how to fight from that so there are several two ways the first one is uh, by pressing the shift z z so you, you can see i have pressed the shift and double type z so when i did i am exited my page and if i want to see whether the content has been saved in my file or not so simply i will use the as cat command to see my file content so after entering it you can see that yeah our system our system has the saved the content of our file so uh, this is how you can uh, exit this, this was the first way to exit from the file now i will show you some other ways to ex to how to exit from the file the second way which is the most common way people generally use is simply you have to press the escape button if you are done with your work now what you are going to do simply uh, colon w which stands for right and q which stands for quiet and bang which is the exclamation mark so this keyword basically is used to uh, save the return file and quiet from that so when i entering it you can see it has uh, worked and if i want to see the content again you can see that the content is still there because i use the command uh, column wq exclamation mark so this were the two ways you can uh, exit from your uh, vi text editor file now some other thing which i would like to show you that uh, some cool facts about it so the first thing like for example uh, i am right now in my insert mode right after clicking on the i now what if i want to uh, add a new line between this two line like hi i am using the linux reddit system and just before the and linux is cool to learn for how what if i want to add some line here so what you can simply do i should uh, right now in my visual mode and i will go to there this system file just like this okay now what i will do i simply press o so when i press the o it by default uh, goes to the insert mode and it basically insert a new line between these two lines just like this so you can see when i press the o it gives me it uh, it give me a new line in between those two lines now what i will do i can add any kind of thing again because it given me the by default thing you can see like this you can add any kind of thing just like this so basically when you press o keyword in your uh, ter terminal so it gives you a two it, it creates a new line between the two lines now for what if i want to uh, undo the whole content like for example in vr when we use the word art or wordpad in our uh, windows so for that uh, undo we directly move find it on a toolbar and we click on the undo so it basically get back to the content so for the linux we will use the we will enter the uh, keyword which is the u but right now because i am in my insert board so i can't do this because I, I i already told you that when we are in the insert mode it behaves like a text editor file so what you have to first do you have to simply escape out from your insert mode then when you press the u you can see my my whole content has been back again just like the previous one why it ha why it has happened because i press on the u which basically work as a undo in our linux system so this is how uh, you can change in your uh, contents and the new newly available content now uh, second thing which is the uh, very cool where that is uh, what if i want to uh, delete something but like from this i want to delete so simply you have to uh, press on the keyboard which is the d so you can see we are right now in our delete mode now i will press again d so it will delete the whole line so you can see when i pre uh, press again the d it has been deleted the whole line again so this was about the d keyword to delete a single line in your content now again i just don't want to delete, delete that i want to uh, get back that content so what i will use i will simply press on the keyboard u so i will get back my content again now uh, for example i for example uh, I want to delete something like uh, not not just the whole line but I want to delete a single single keyword or single word from that so what I can do for example I want to delete this uh, red red. so when you are in the visual mode what 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 generally you will do you will try to go into the insert mode and then you will try to remove uh, this uh, red uh, red word with your backspace right 
but you know what i what i am going to do is without uh, going into the insert mode i can still delete this in my visual mode so for that i simply i need to simple use only one keyword which is the x x is basically used to delete the particular word in a visual mode so right now you can see i am in my visual mode and when i press the x so you can see the r has been removed again i will press the x so the e will be removed and again i will press the d uh, sorry x so it will remove the last keyword which was the d so you can see like how simply you can delete the one particular single word by pressing the x key x keyboard uh, x in the keyboard in the keyboard so uh, this is how you can uh, use your x o and u so i <coughs> so i basically taught you three different keywords the first one was the o to add a new line in our uh, vi vi command which we will use the o keyword to undo your uh, particular content you can simply use the u keyword and to delete a content without entering into the insert mode we will use the x keyword in our terminal so this was the main about this thing uh, one last thing which i wants to uh, show you that for example right now what i will do i will save this by shift double z so you can see the content has been saved now for example uh, i want to uh, you know like uh, if you have a file with a larger content like for example you have the 100 pages of content in the file it can be there and what if you want to find some particular word in the whole in the in this big large amount of file so for simply when you are in your window system what we do simple we press the control f to find the given particular word and you type it then a word and you ask when you hit the enter it will directly redirect you throughout the uh, matching word in your whole file so simply in linux we use a command which is the grep which is used to find the given keyword in the given file name for example uh, in this file name uh, let let me see what kind of uh, i have in my file okay sorry okay it's not again working let me open this terminal once again yeah so again what i will do i will try to see what kind of similar word i have in my s cloud hub yeah so i have this content in my file so what i will do i will try to find something uh, word in in my file so for that i will use the grep command enter you have to put the word which you want to find in the file for example i want to find is in my given file name and the file name is as cloud hub uh, you can simply find out here because it is only because this file has only two lines but what if the file has n number of lines like 100 200 lines so for that you can use this command directly so when you press the enter it will give you a specified content line with the highlighted uh, word which you wants to find in your system for because uh, here i given the word which is the is so if, that's why it is highlighting the word is and with the whole sentence so this grp is used for that but what if i want to use this command in my vi uh, in my vi uh, text editor so for that i need to first enter into the visual mode so uh, what i will do vi as cloud hub right now i am in my vi text editor file now what i will do if i want to fi find a particular word in this content then simply you have to do this slash give the uh, word which you want to find for example i want to find this two so i will hit the enter so you can see when i hit the enter it is blinking on the word which i specified to find on the given content i can also find for different like for example i want to find this m so when i enter it highlighting the word which i wants to uh, find in my given file so uh, you can see this how you can use some different kind of keywords in your vi text editor file there are also several but these are the most common use and you guys should practice this about this keyword because it is the most important to use in our linux system that's it uh, thank you so much for watching this video do like share and subscribe for more linux red content thank you